Here's a little update video. Been doing some piddly stuff, so and the rear drive shaft shortened. Got that on. Front drive shaft is on. I got the fuel system hooked up. Goes. I'll show you better on top, but there's the fuel pressure regulator. There's the rest of the fuel system. Fuel pressure regulator return style. I'm still running the pump in the tank. That's the way I did all my other vehicles too. And then that pressure line goes to the factory pump. And then you got the return line off the injectors, teeing in and everything returning to the tank. I've got a uh, high pressure line for the power steering hooked up. It's a OEM line. I just uh, rebent this end a little bit. I've got my vacuum line hooked up and teed off for the accessories in the cab. Got the clutch in all hooked up. You've seen that in the last video hooking it up. Return line on for the power steering pump. Accessories are all on there. Got the belt. So I got a few things to work on on it yet. But getting close. I made a, an intake pipe for this. I know a lot of people argue about this but uh, Majority of the time, an intercooler isn't really necessary. It'll be just fine. I know some of you will lose sleep over it, but I gotta. I'm gonna show you something here. I've been adding to my vehicles lately. This is a farm sprayer screen. Put that in the heater line here. It catches a lot of debris. Um, try to put up some pictures maybe that from my wife's vehicle we did a cool and flush like two years in a row and she didn't have heat. Did a, uh, blew the lines out on the heater core. Sorry, last year we, de we flushed it and put a new heater core in. This year wasn't making very good heat. Flushed it and blew out the heater core. And then I put the screen in. And the screen plugged up within like an hour. Had a half a cup of junk in it. And then, then we ran it for about a, a month and had another half a cup of junk in it. So it does take uh, quite a bit of stuff out of the system that gets missed no matter how good you think you flush it. And some of these heater cores are not very fun whatsoever to change so probably do some work on my AC system now get the lines hooked up. Let's see if I can show you guys that it's kind of a tight spot in there. Here's what I got going on with the AC. I get the special adapter and a couple 45s.
There's one crew. There's a lot of fittings. There's the other. This is done. Maybe a little bit better image of that uh, adapter. Now that the 
closes her off. So I went and crimped this hose off camera and the vise just to make things easier for me.
that's where the high pressure cutout slash fan switch will go.